thank you Pokhara and Nepal for having me as a speaker. I feel privileged to be in Nepal and I'm going to talk about uh, how to submit items in WordPress repository in a smart way. Uh, so it's actually about contributing. WordPress is open sourced and it's actually uh, growing and developing day by day through contributions. So we need to contribute uh, for the betterment of WordPress and for us too. So this is me, I am Mizan Rahman Mizan. Uh, I am a software engineer postgrad in CS and MSIT. Uh, I am working with WordPress uh, from 2002, but uh, professionally from 2012. And I was a lecturer in Indian University in Bangladesh, University of Information and Technology and Sciences, and I'm the founder of Technocrius, which already has been uh, addressed. So how to uh, contribute, uh, uh, things to uh, things we can do in WordPress repository. So I will try, uh, I, I want you to, you know, cooperate with me. So do you know how we can contribute to the WordPress uh, community? Any idea? Uh, okay, uh, who are starting WordPress? Who are the beginners? Can you raise your hand? Uh, working with WordPress for at least six months or a year? Can you raise your hand? Okay, more than that? More than two years? Okay, nice, pretty good. So in WordPress repository, we can actually do three things. Uh, we can uh, support, we can support others, and uh, we can submit theme and plugin, and we can review theme and plugin. In order to contribute, what do you need? Uh, we need a WordPress.org account uh, for helping and support. You need to have a supportive mind, I mean, and patience, because it's fully voluntary work, and you have to, you are not getting anything but knowledge, and you are helping people, so you are actually getting two things. You are getting mental peace, and by helping others, uh, you are actually uh, literally not learning new things, because people has different questions and their item has different types of problems and programmatically even supportively we sometimes don't understand what others are saying so actually you are uh, supporting others and you are learning things so both ways knowledge way and also skill way so that's the first uh, benefit of supporting and it helps a lot because I have learned my programming by helping in my university uh, chapter, like University Student Council, I, I used to volunteer, I used to uh, teach them programming. I, I was a programming contestant, I, I did SEM contests, regionals, and uh, stuff like that. So I tried helping, so it helped me a lot to gain knowledge. So you should also try, even if you know how to write Hello World, I think you are a better candidate to be a support staff in WordPress community. So you should jump in. And to review items, uh, let's go to the second uh, review and submit items. I am going to the next slide. Uh, what we need for submitting items? Uh, I am uh, addressing items for both theme and plugins. So if you want to develop theme, uh, quite similar. And if you want to plug develop plugin, uh, you can address. Uh, co they're correlated, OK? So for submit and, uh, submitting theme and plugins, you need a theme and plugins. That's correct, right? Without having a theme and plugin, we can't actually submit that. And the most important thing about uh, WordPress uh, uh, is WordPress is GPL compliance, and you have to have the item fully GPL compatible. And I had one month of headache uh, understanding GPL licensing f with my first item. So make sure that when you are submitting any item, I it's uh, GPL compatible. In short, what I can say about GPL is GPL means your item could be easily, uh, anyone can distribute it, redistribute it, anyone can use your code. Uh, not necessarily they always have to give you credit, but uh, giving is good. And um, uh, they can host your items. These are the uh, most common mistakes that we do uh, in our licensing. You have to explicitly declare that your item could be redistributed in any server or anywhere. So redistribution, we make mistake with the redistribution clause. We may uh, we sometimes say that our item is not possible to use uh, anywhere else, but that's not GPL compliant. Oh, okay. So 
in WordPress, it has to be DPL compatible, okay? Okay, so that's the first thing. Then, properly escaped and sanitized. Uh, I hope you have idea about that. WordPress is very strict uh, in the WordPress repository about sanitization and uh, code validation. So you have to use all the uh, special WordPress functions and uh, classes to validate. Uh, so you should uh, make sure that you are learning that properly. And what, uh, WordPress encourage us to make an item which is translatable and it's actually now mandatory so your item should be uh, translatable so you have to use all the translation uh, uh, functions and methods uh, so your item is uh, easily translatable to any other languages and definitely error free so if your code has any error but it's properly displaying things it's not going to happen it's not going to come live in the WordPress repository how to achieve that? I'm talking about theme. There are special guidelines to submit a theme. Uh, you should note, uh, and I will give this uh, slide to the organizer or in my website. Uh, you can have this one. And uh, th there are some requirements in this uh, link. And you can join the official WordPress Slack channel, wordpress.slack.com. There you can look for uh, the hashtag uh, theme review you will get a lot of ideas. And you can ask any question. Trust me, I am the most silly, silly question seeker or uh, questioner in the Slack channel. I even asked, what is GPL? I even asked, what is GPL there? So you can ask anything. But make sure that you are making, when you are doing some chit chat, you uh, make sub channel or sub talks with the one who is replying to you. And then otherwise other will be irritated. <laughs> So make sure you have all the data and tools. Uh, they have make uh, it easier for us. Uh, there are a lot of tools for testing your code, both for theme and plugin. It's available in the developer.wordpress.org slash themes release and uh, testing tools. You should have those. I am going to add uh, my testing environment. I will, uh, it's the catch for my talks. I will add my testing environment in my website or in the GitHub so you can easily download those. But you should check this link. I will give my testing environment to you, but you can, you should check this link before you jump in uh, using my tool, okay? So I have this one. <laughs> so uh, the common tools that we use and the reviewer use, the theme sniper, um, uh, uh, from Nepal, the, the popular one is from Nilambar Sharma from Nepal, and he taught me a lot in my journey too, so I am very grateful to him, and Poena from, I guess, Ireland. Uh, they are my uh, WordPress teacher, mentor in WordPress.org repository, so I would like to thank them. If you are listening, uh, Nilambar, thank you so much uh, for uh, asking my silly questions, and also Poena. Okay, so you should have the theme sniffer, that uh, sni uh, sniffer, I guess, uh, sni sniffer, yeah. So in that tool, you will have a elaborate uh, description about your code errors and mistakes. There are one from wordpress.org named theme check, but it's okay, but it doesn't uh, give you most of the common mistakes, okay? And your code, you should have a translator creator for your code. I have a CLI, command line interface code, uh, uh, from the community. So I'll, uh, I'll give that in my website. I have only five or six minutes left. So I have to give a lot of information back to the website for you to have it. So translator creator is a CLI based. I use that one. You can have any uh, PO edit or other tools, but uh, CLI is good. Uh, it's, uh, you just run a command and it translate, literally translate your item. And you should have validation for your uh, code. I'm just uh, going to the next slide. So first thing first, you ha your item should be GPL compatible. And, and, and right now, we can't uh, promote our theme by writing anything, uh, like uh, in the screenshot of the theme. So we have to just uh, take the screenshot from the, our theme. No extra writing, no feature writing is available and permittable in the WordPress. No branding is allowed and you can only uh, give, uh, you can only write lorem ipsum in your code. You can even, sometimes we do write like, this theme is very good. In the body of our theme, you know, we, uh, that 
pro common template. We can't write anything. So we have to use the common pattern of flowering. Anything that doesn't give any idea who you are. Uh, if you are using any third party tool, like you know, we use Bootstrap, uh, then font like Font or Sam, and stuff like that. If you use them, you have to give proper licensing and you, you have to take licensing if needed. Uh, so please make sure that you have licensed well and uh, your license should be. You have to do that, otherwise, your item is not going to go live. Trust me. And uh, make sure that you have. Uh, made all the um, basic requirements so your item don't get stuck for a long time. My first item got approved after five months. So it's a long time. Even I am a developer, I'm, I'm a developer for more than 10 years, but I was like quite, what do you say? Uh, I didn't have any patience, I was impatient. So I <laughs> didn't start it well and just changed one thing and submitted again and waited for six, seven days. And for first time, every time, six weeks, then every two, three days I have to wait. And it's a long, tedious journey. So please make sure you're not doing that, okay? And your code will be ma manually checked also. Uh, it doesn't, I have introduced or talked about some tools, but it, uh, that doesn't mean that it, uh, they're not going to check your code manually. So don't make any manual mistake. Item submitting plugin is quite easier compared to, uh, compared to uh, theme uh, uh, that get approved quite quickly, but uh, uh, the rules are similar. Okay, and uh, all the theme uh, check address uh, should be uh, issued. Uh, theme check uh, uh, options should be uh, feature should be checked, and your code shouldn't have any PHP error. And the ultimate tips from me, because I have uh, submitted both theme and plugin to the repository, uh, I'm mostly themes. So my tips to you, if you want to submit, try to make a theme that is, you have lots of ideas, you have lots of plan to submit, but try to make a one minimal. So what I do, I always submit the blog option of my theme. If I have a multi-purpose theme, I launch it with the blog. Minimal feature, so go for blog or minimal feature with new theme, it will be easier to get approved. Then when your theme is live, uh, they don't actually check too much, it goes immediately. If you update your theme, it is going to be easier, okay? So when uh, uh, you are uh, submitting an item, please uh, make sure that it's minimal and it will be easier for reviewing and then you can add features and bunch of features. And make sure that always your item is uh, WordPress tools, term of service compatible. And make sure the translation is proper. Submitting items uh, for plugin and theme, there are some uh, check, uh, uh, checklist of which you should do. I'm not going to talk about them because my time is limited. Uh, so you should note or you can have this from my slide and uh, repeat this thing and your item will be approved, I guess. For reviewing item, you need the same setup. You need same setup for reviewing item that uh, you are using for submitting your items. Uh, but the process is different. Uh, we need to uh, make sure this uh, everything is correct and uh, anyone can review. So even if you are new, you can still review an item. So make sure you are reviewing even if you don't have any items because even if you review and your review is not correct, then uh, 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 the seniors going to check it anyway. So you, if you approve something, that's not, not going to go live. So if you review, that is educational for you and for uh, yeah, for the community. So please try to review also. So uh, you can check this and I, my time is, <laughs> again, I have to say that my time is limited. I wish I could have another five minutes. But anyway, you have to go to these two links to review an item. Uh, the requirement is in on the top one and uh, the second one is uh, uh, requesting an item. When you click on this one, you will have an item. If you have, if you are logged in to the WordPress ac uh, account, your WordPress.org account. So these, uh, I am going to add the tools in my uh, website, misspress.com slash WordPress, uh, WordCamp-Pokhara-2018. So you can uh, uh, 
note that link if you like. So I will add everything and I will have an elaborated video of my talk, like an hour of uh, video walkthrough for you to start uh, submitting items and to review items. So I will make a uh, uh, larger, I mean longer video so you can uh, start your journey. Okay. Uh, thanks. Uh, you can reach me at uh, this uh, website. This is my personal website, Miss Press, and uh, you can email me or you can follow me and uh, in Twitter or you can send me friend request in Facebook if you like. <laughs> so uh, this is my reaching point, and thanks.